All right, here we are. There we go. Our main capital of Rubin is doing all right here. We've got barbarians kind of wreaking havoc over here. Um, I'll definitely need to get some kind of a boat here to, to fend them off. I don't have anything at the moment. Um, I'm, as you can see, I'm building a knight. Here is our war all the way over here. So right now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cities. We're definitely on the front foot, um, putting pedal to the metal right now. Um, definitely looking forward to continuing this. Um, big giant uh, armies right here. We're probably going to go, I think the next step was Salvador de Bahia. Bahia? Um, or go east. So, crit you, or crit you, I like that nickname. Uh, Zafton, Jemmy, LV Wolf. Lots of different things going on. This is a siege tower. This will be useful in taking out cities because it, it causes you to believe. When adjacent to an enemy city, enemy melee units can bypass, friendly melee units can bypass the city walls and attack the city directly. So we can ignore the walls and these legions can do a lot more damage on the city itself. Battering rams are also useful when adjacent to the enemy, melee is due full, full damage to the walls. So it's not, um, they're, they're both useful for that reason. We definitely need more melee units. This knight will be useful too. He can move pretty quickly to get over here. District range strike. What's that? Why is it white? Telling me that if I put a unit near there, they may attack me. Mm, interesting. Okay. There's definitely a Russian Cossack here. They can attack and then run away, so I definitely want to avoid them. They're going to be uh, very annoying if I have a melee unit around here. But uh, let's just continue, let's see where we're at. Right now we just completed a crossbow in Jemmy. We need to come up with the next unit. We already have a population of seven, which means we can start on a next district, which would be great. Um, very soon I will be able to afford a, I only need four more gold and I'll be able to build a campus. Let's see if we can do a trade with somebody. It's going to be hard because they're not very happy with us, but maybe we could try to get four gold um, and start that. Although we're negative gold per turn. So we need four gold plus we need something else. Let's talk to Gorge, Gorgo, the Greek. They like us when we're in a war, so let's see if we can make a deal with them. We will give you whale, and you will give us money. Gold per turn, 10 per turn, per 10, uh, how about just three per turn. They would accept that, and then we also want four gold, not 100. 10 gold and three gold per turn, they wouldn't even take that. How about four gold per turn? And they wouldn't even take that. So they want three gold per turn, and we need five gold. They wouldn't even give us five gold and three gold per turn. Let's try somebody else here. Never mind. Who else might like us? Uh, French, possibly. We've got whales, you've got money. You can't even give us gold per turn. How about if we take 20 gold now? No, they won't 
take that. Right. Okay, French. Catherine de Medici. The Italian French lady. Nobody wants to help me out. Huh. Got something here. Gold for turn. <laughs> Four gold per turn, you wouldn't take that. How about three? Oh. It would take three. Let's see if you would throw in ten gold. <laughs> nope. You wouldn't even put in five either. Wow. Oh, he's allied with my uh, enemy. Oh, of course he's not going to do that. How about the Russians? He wouldn't even take three gold per turn. Nobody likes me. <sighs> Three gold per turn and one gold now. I'll have to say, accept that. It's better than nothing. It's heading in the right direction. We still need a little bit more gold before we can build this campus. Is there any other way I can make some gold? I could sell a unit. I don't really want to do that. I don't have a lot of extra right now. How about trading? Is there any other traders that I have here? I don't have the uh, ability to do another trade. I wonder. So right now I have limes helping with defensive units. Unit maintenance down by one. 50% discount on upgrades. Campus adjacency bonus. Builders get bonus. The only government I have right now is Monarch. Have Merchant Republic. I think that would help me get another trade route. Yep, two more trade routes. Alright. Back to Jenny. Okay, so what do we do while we're waiting on the camp? Can't quite afford it right now. So, in the meantime, let's go ahead and. Builder's always good. Let's go with Builder right now get that going. Yeah, okay. And then it says next turn. Let's see what else we got. We got completed of Vilnius City State West. Got an envoy. Printing. Jillian G needs more housing to keep growing. not housing, but it's a district that's useful. Ooh, amphitheater. Those are going to be useful. That'll help me create great, great people points. Great people points uh, allow a lot of special improvement. Definitely going to need to do some chopping over here to help improve that. And build some farms there. Grassland woods, plains, rainforest. Here I could probably do with the grassland woods, I could probably do a lumber mill. That would be good. Next turn, medieval.
evil fares one turn away from maximum inspiration mode. Not boosted. I don't have any other boosted right now. Um, I think continuing as is and moving towards Merchant Ripple, that's probably a good way, but that's a good long-term thing if we're in between warring. That's probably a good way to go. Alright, so now we got to plot out our next set of attacking. There's a wall here, so we're going to have to get ready for that. Um, there's a lot of healing to take place. Let's definitely fortify and finish with these guys. Oh, we could just do a promotion, hey? Plus one movement can scale walls. Plus ten when defending against ranged units. Ooh, I like that. district to have here. If we do an industrial, we don't have a lot of major benefits here, although this is a plus two, but this takes off the woods. That might be a long-term district uh, built there. How about theater? Mm, gotta chop some forest here. How about a harbor? Harbor would be nice. There we go. Plus three way down there. How about we save that one for Julian? In the meantime, let's do one right here. Yeah, we need money. I think carvers give a lot of money. So. And it helps the build of the ships and move those out too. What about commercial? Nah. Carver looks better. Alright. Carver it is. Districts are key. They're, they multiply your, your uh, resources a lot faster than other buildings. Crossbow, come on over. Skip turn. Here's our other crossbow. Got a big 
big old mountain in the way. Let's go here and see what happens. Ah, we can attack this. Major victory all the way from here. This map is okay. <laughs> Our knight, and they get. Let's head on down here. Priest and out. Oh, if you see a castle under fog, they finally have some you must walk there to meet the extraordinary ball. dreams. our money. Finally, let's swap over here while we have money. Let's go ahead and get started on this. Plus four. Sweet. A beautiful spot. Start on that. Lock in the price. Continue with your builder if you want. I'm almost there. Anyway. So that was key. This this horseman proved to, to be very beneficial. He was able to use his extra movement points to go over here and collect a lot of money. without well and they don't even have walls anyway okay finish the castles castles in the sky shipbuilding i can start building ships finally let's get that going printing also has has a boost right here it also increases diplomatic visibility hmm i definitely need that but let's do the shipbuilding get that out of the way i'll simply make sure i'll put that one second get printing done. Um, yeah, that's good for now. There are very Let's honest people who do not think that they have had a bargain unless they have cheated a merchant. I'm going to have to run backwards and they're catapult. They're catapult strong. They have a lot of units there. Okay. Horsemen can attack the catapult and do major victory. Still made against that. That's the plan. Let's let's go ahead and do that because I want to damage them as soon as we can. Yeah, barely damaged me. Um, do I do a ranged attack? Yep. Catapult can finish 
stop this catapult. Oh, that's still a minor victory. If I move back and then fire, can I do that? here one to Geneva and that'll be doubled and if I confirm placement that'll go to two and then I can go back and do this one. Oh, did I not have doubling? Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Geneva's a good one to have, especially where it's located. That's an eight. I have to get eight envoys to get that one. Apparently Gilgamesh owns that one. Don't want to go to war with him anytime soon. Hmm. If I could get Nan Madal, which is close to him. That one's close. And that'll improve my... Civics. change. Thanks for the pop-up. Uh, Merchant Confederation, Aesthetics, Medina Quarter. Um, aesthetics, maybe. Probably not. Plus one gold for each envoy at city-states. Wow, that's a lot of money I can get from that. Let's change the policies and get that extra money. We happen to need money at the moment. Builder still working on that one. Campus is always good for that. How about military? Do we have any new military things that we need? Unit combat against barbarians? No. Maintenance? No. Unit upgrade 50%. I don't have any specific upgrades at the moment that we know of. Double my pillaging. Production toward encampment districts. I don't have a whole lot here. Um, plus 50% production in case we need to build a unit quickly and that would make it quickly. <laughs> Alright, next turn, see if they attack me. Here's my Knigget coming over here. Trader just got done. We can have money if we go to Tula. A lot of money if we go to Kazan. Money and science for Novograd. St. Petersburg as well with 
culture as well. Wow, this is really not sorted. Let's start by science. Who can give me the most science? Geneva can give me the most science. That's two. Cloth culture can give me the most culture. Kumasi can give me two culture. Cloth production, not a whole lot. So we want science or culture? What do we think? What do you guys want? I like science better. Go for it. We're really slowly getting them down there, aren't we? Let's do the mine and then let's cover over here. Completed the campus. All right. Can move on to another district already. Sweet. Lots of empty spots to potential districts. Industrial, we can get a plus one here. We are... We're on a river, not too much with the water. Although baths give us amenities, plus one amenity, so that's always an interesting choice. Um, theater Square could be here also. I think Theater Square, we definitely want to stay ahead of the curve culture. so far advanced. Awesome. We 
before I forget, let's go ahead and rename this sucker. No, you are not Grawl Rolls unpronounceable name. Let's see, we've got list of the followers. Next city is called Be Cool. Actually, that's probably a capital. Cool. Be Cool. Nice. All right. Next, uh, we can do a repair on the greenery that we just destroyed. Making progress here. We have a huge army still. And they looks like they have several more cities. So let's go ahead down and take Salvador de Bahia. And let's also check our stats right now. War weariness is still a zero. Zero, 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 zero. Minus five in Critiu, but we just took over that city, so they're gonna be displeased. Zafton's happy with, oh, they have a minus one with four weariness, but they're still happy because they have two amenities. Be Cool is displeased, but their warrior weariness is zero, so. So we have to decide, do we want to take over Salvador and Bede Bahia, or should we call a peace and then build up our military and heal up? Um... I think let's keep going because they don't have much of a military. I think they had one crossbow. I'm not too afraid of that. Battering ram, you can head on down. Little by little. There is nothing but a plank between a sailor and eternity. If I put him here, he's in range for them to attack me, so I'm just going to wait. out of the city and they'll be allowed in certain takeover. Healing up. Crossbow, you can kind of inch forward now that you're healed. Here's our Knigget. even more. Do I want him to take a shot? Let's wait. He'll be the uh, defense for everybody else. Although, yeah, in the trees. I want them to come out. If they can get draw them out, then it's going to be a lot easier. Mine for the builder over here. Completed a workshop. Sweet. This is going to make this a lot of production over here. With this extra production, I could build a granary, but food and housing, growth quick, yeah. University would be nice. Um, let's start with the university. Science is going to be useful. Man, they're having uh, more religious attacks over here.
Builder's done with the mine, he can head over and start out helping Zafton. Let's go straight to this right here. And then help with that. Crossbow here. I don't really want to hurry up. And... Who put this here? Buenos Aires. Did you really have to step right in my path? forward here. Can't move and attack at the same time, so I'll just have to uh, skip turn. I want to move him up, but they would take it over without anybody defending, so I will skip the turn. Looks like my catapult cannot attack from here. Got a hills in the way. Major defeat if he tried to attack, so I will just hold the fortify. So this is going to be risky down here because they have walls and they have a swordsman. Swordsman, I don't think, has any special attack abilities. Whoa! What was that? An AT crew? That is the atomic era, immediately produces an AT crew. Anti tank crew. Oh my goodness. Yikes. I could get 108 faith. He needs to get the heck out of here. Minor victory. This anti tank crew is. Look at that walls jumped up to 70. I think now is a good time to do a quick peace treaty. Your promise to the Brazilian Empire to move your troops on the border has been fulfilled. I've taken over three of their cities and I've somehow fulfilled the promise. Peter finished the pyramids. One of those late wonders, or wonders that ends up being built late. Okay, so because their walls are huge and they have an AT crew, which is way stronger than mine right now, I think it's time to discuss making peace. You can give me the city I took over. I could even throw in a great work, and you're okay with that. I can't take Porto Alegre. They have three cities left Brasilia, Porto Alegre, and Salvador de Bahia. I could ask for money. I need money, obviously. I could ask for 100 and they're okay with that. They're okay with 110 per turn. They would, uh, they would take 125 per turn. How the heck are they? Now they're not doing it. They would take 124 per turn. That just seems wrong. Oh, how lucky is that? Let's do it. Wonderful. He doesn't look so happy. <laughs> Unfriendly. Let's get out of here before we tip the boat. 
and all our units immediately moved into safe areas. Works great. Thank you, Brazil. Appreciate that. You bumped us way up. We're almost as high as you in points right now. We are catching up to Gilgamesh. We are ahead of France. We're only behind Greek slightly and, and Russians quite a bit, but they're mostly in military strength is where they got us. Awesome. Cool. All right. Well, that looks like a good spot. Um, I think we're going to have to put a cut in the video right now. Thank you very much for joining us. If you uh, like this, you want to continue the series, all the past videos are there at the youtube.com slash user mock 3 m It's in the playlist tab. Um, they're all in a line, very easy to follow. You can just click on one and hit auto and then they'll run. Um, if you want to follow the next one live, we'll be live. And it's on the schedule at the Twitch site, twitch.tv slash mango3m. Otherwise, thanks so much and take it easy.